The girl slowly removes her clothes, revealing her sexy body, but the man gently pulled up the shoulder strap for her. Such a tender gesture makes the girl fall deeply in love. The girl's name is Jenny. She met David on a rainy day. He invited her in his luxury car to get in the car to hide from the rain. Jenny initially rejects the dangerous offer. David wisely makes it clear that he is only worried about getting his cello wet. Jenny smiles, drops her guard, and puts the cello in David's car. The two of them have a nice conversation. This rich and funny man wins Jenny's affection. Jenny is a good student in her class, and she is very popular with her teachers. She is preparing for Oxford University. After so many years of being a good girl, Jenny's life is very monotonous. In addition to her classes, she takes cello lessons. This is not a hobby of her own choosing, but an advantage when interviewing for Oxford. Jenny loved French films, romantic Paris, and had a taste for art and music. Jenny felt overwhelmed by the high expectations of her parents. David appeared in Jenny's world at the right time. On the day of the cello performance, Jenny found a flower basket at the door, which was very delicate and expensive. There was a small card on it, signed by David, who had sent her home on a rainy day. Jenny was very happy. At the end of the school day, Jenny saw a familiar back, and it was David. She was a little excited to greet him, and David warmly invited her to the concert. Jenny hesitated, knowing that her parents would not agree, but David's personal visit changed her parents' mind. The man was polite and courteous, and his dress and manner showed his status. Her father agreed to their date. The two left happily holding hands, like a couple of children who hadn't grown up. Jenny also met David's friends, Helen and Danny. Helen in a distinguished dress makes Jenny very envious. After all, she is still a poor student. Helen was not impressed. She said Jenny could also let David take her shopping. At the concert, Jenny enjoyed the elegant music and was immersed in the romantic and luxurious atmosphere. To her surprise, David took her to an upscale bar after the concert. In the bar, the singer sang her heart out. David was talking to his friends about participating in an art auction. All this luxury was once so far away from Jenny, but now it was close at hand. So much so that when Jenny returned home, and saw her mother struggling to wash the casserole. She had a surreal feeling. The experience of high society was unforgettable for Jenny. Soon she had her second date with David. She rides in David's limo to an art auction house to bid on a famous painting. She didn't have to pay anything. She just stood in front of David and raised her hand to bid at will. She received the handwriting of the famous author she admired so much. Jenny had a taste of the sweetness of the adult world. It was both relaxing and elegant. It was a stark contrast to the monotony of her former life. She began to tire of studying day after day. Jenny was not a genius either. No doubt, her grades fell off. If you had more money than you could spend, would you still study hard? The girl who could have gone to Oxford dropped out of school and threw herself into the world of high society. Jenny was so immersed in this world of luxury that even her dream of going to Oxford became unattractive. She thought she had to wait until she had worked so hard to get into Oxford before she could go to fancy parties and live a romantic life. But David can't give her this life right now. They were having fun in an exquisite suite in Paris. Jenny is wearing an expensive and exquisite dress and feels that she is living the life she has always dreamed of. Becoming an independent and mature woman, Jenny's dramatic change caught the attention of her teacher. She was worried that this girl with unlimited potential was going astray. She advised Jenny to put her mind on her studies and make sure she got into Oxford. Jenny only found her teacher old-fashioned and uninteresting. She mocked the teacher, who had gone to Cambridge and had to correct meaningless essays every day, and said that she was a failure in life. The teacher was speechless. She could only advise Jenny to take safety precautions. The principal also approached Jenny and warned the girl not to indulge in this relationship. Otherwise, she might lose her eligibility to take the exam. Jenny still doesn't listen and is happily planning her 17th birthday. In the evening, Jenny's mom and dad Saturday around the dinner table with a somewhat humble cupcake. Jenny blew out the candles in one gulp and received Latin dictionaries as a gift. There was a sudden noise at the door and it was David. She brought Jenny a pile of gifts and Jenny was surprised. At the dinner table, David offered to take Jenny to Paris to celebrate her birthday. Dad was hesitant, but David convinced him again. This time this 17-year-old girl was willing to give what she regarded as a treasure. Life is so pleasant. It's like a romantic movie of the old days. Jenny enjoyed everything with all her heart, and she was very happy when David proposed to her. David was a little nervous waiting for her answer. Jenny smiled, but she had to think about it. At home in the evening, Jenny tentatively asked her parents for their opinion. Jenny thought her parents, 
who had been raised to value education, would stand in the way, but her father said it might be the best outcome for her. Jenny had doubts about the life that stood in front of her for more than a decade. What was all the heavy homework and sleepless nights for? With the support of her parents, Jenny became more reckless. She deliberately raised her hand in class to reveal the shiny ring on her ring finger. Her classmates marveled at the news of his engagement and envied her. The principal asked her to have one last talk. As calmly as she could, she advised the girl to go for her degree first. But there was no going back. She had tasted the indulgence and luxury of the adult world. And how could Jenny want to go back to the boredom of school? She left the school and waited to marry her beloved David. But she didn't realize that the cruel adult world was just showing his true face. The girl gave up Oxford University to get engaged to the rich man, but found a pile of letters in his luxury car. The name of the rich man's wife was written on them. It turns out that the rich man is already married. The girl calmly got out of the car. She let her parents go and questioned the man in front of her. The man shamelessly pleaded for forgiveness and promised to divorce and marry her. Jenny was devastated. She gave up her studies and her future for David. Now she seemed to be having a dream. She asked David to wait at the door and let him explain to her parents in person later. But as soon as she walked in the door, David drove away, frustrated. Jenny found David's house and wandered around the door in a panic. A woman came out with her child and Jenny tried to walk away. The woman instantly saw what she was up to. The woman asked her if she was pregnant because something similar had happened before. Jenny instantly understood that it was all a terrible scam. She couldn't stand the woman's pitiful gaze and she ran away in a hurry. When she got home, she ran into her parents and her father was angry and wanted to go find David. Jenny, however, said, Is he your father again now? Where was he when he encouraged her to destroy herself? Her father felt deep remorse. How does she start her chaotic life over? Jenny wants to go back to school. She asks her former principal for help. The principal thinks she's done enough and won't give her a chance. Jenny Saturday in despair on the bus and thought of her teacher. The teacher had thought highly of her. The teacher was surprised that Jenny came to her. Jenny found that the literary atmosphere in the teacher's home is so strong. It turned out that the loser she looked down upon before was so rich and wonderful in his heart. Jenny asked her teacher for help. She wanted to go back to school. The teacher looked at her and said she had been waiting for this for a long time. With the help of her teacher, Jenny was given the opportunity to study again. Her goal was still Oxford. She worked hard for countless days and nights after that until she received a letter from Oxford. Her mother trembled as she read out the letter of acceptance. While Jenny just sat her day there calmly, she finally realized that there were no shortcuts in her life. Back then, with her quick wit and talent, she thought she could live a smooth life in the adult world, but she didn't realize that the glamour she saw was only a small part of David's long life. Luckily, she was able to change her mistakes in time. All the bad experiences she had in the past turned her into a guiding light in life.